Okay, today we'll start the fifth part of application of integral calculus in business and economics. Uh, we have studied about consumer surplus and producer surplus in our previous lecture in part four. Now today we also finish the another part of uh, consumer surplus and producer surplus part. And this is the application of the integral calculus in business and economics. Uh, a part of course, business mathematics for Bachelor of Business Administration students. Okay, today we'll try to uh, try uh, today we'll try to understand the consumer how to find the consumer surplus and producer surplus, and also how to maximize the profit uh, in consumer surplus problem. Uh, the quantity sold and the corresponding price under the monopoly determined by the de demand law p equals to 16 minus x square and the marginal cost is given mc is marginal cost uh, equals to 6 plus x in such a way that to maximize the profit we have to maximize the profit and we have also determined the corresponding consumer surplus in the above equation if demand's law is p equals to this and marginal cost will be what 6 plus x square by 4 this is actually from uh, given equation of demand law uh, determine consumer surplus now we are given p equals to demand from demand law 16 minus x square and mc for this mc equals to 6 plus x so total revenue what will be total revenue means what price multiply total number of units that means px P below given 16 minus x square price, and this is the units number of units produced. So we get total revenue 16 minus x square. Now marginal revenue, what are you given? We are given marginal revenue. What will be? We have to marginal uh, marginal revenue is given by 16 minus try x square. For equilibrium under monopoly, for equilibrium under monopoly, what will be mm, market margin, marginal cost equals to marginal revenue? Marginal cost is given 6 plus x, and marginal value, uh, marginal revenue, what will be 16 minus thrice 16 minus thrice x cube actually okay 16 minus thrice x cube so after solving this we can solve this uh, for x this is the uh, equation uh, 3x square plus x minus 10 after factorization we can write uh, x plus 2 and thrice x uh, plus minus 5 equal to 0 then we can either this equals to 0 or this thrice x minus 5 equal to 0 then x equals to minus 2 and 5 by 3. Now neglecting negative value of x because number of uh, units can never be negative. So the equilibrium quantity x equals to only 5 by 3 is acceptable. So equilibrium price p equals to what was 16 minus x square. This was given 16 minus x square price from demand law. So 16 minus x square thus putting a value of x we get uh, this value p equals to what will be? One one nine by nine. Now consumer surplus. Consumer surplus what will be zero to x. Uh, zero to x. X not uh, demand function multiply dx dx and p into p not into x not. That means zero to five by three. X equals to what was five by three. For this five by three p not what one one nine by nine. So after integrating this, integrating with respect to x 16 there are one integration one integration will be what x and x square integration what x to the n formula what of integration x to the power n plus one divided by n plus one that means x to the power two plus one divided by two plus one that means x cube by three now putting limits of integration within third brackets the uh, five by three is the upper limit of x and lower limit will be zero just multiplication p not uh, x not will be 595 by 27 using calculator now putting x equals to 5 by 3 upper limits in this term 
16 5 by 3 into 5 by 3 whole cube by 3 and lower limit minus lower limit putting 0 x equals to 0 we get this now after calculation we get 8 5 0 divided by 81 again for part 2 demand law was 45 minus x square and marginal cost was 6 plus x square by 4 in this case total revenue what was p into x total revenue formula price into number of units remember it total revenue will be price into number of units so p equals to what 45 minus x square in this given equation now x into multiplied with 45 minus what will be x cube remember it so total revenue this marginal revenue what will be marginal revenue actually this is 3x square uh, sorry this is the x cube there is a mistake printing mistake marginal revenue what just taking differentiation on both sides differentiation of this what will be only 45 and x cube 40 x cube differentiation what was 3x square 3 into x to 3 minus 1 that means 3x square there is a mistake this will be x cube not x square remember it so we got marginal revenue from from total revenue by differentiating this with respect to x there is a mistake in this actually this will be x cube multiplication so for equilibrium under monopoly market we must know marginal cost equals to marginal revenue similar process we can solve this equation for x and x equals to actually plus minus 12 neglecting negative value because number of units can never be negative so the uh, value of x uh, acceptable value of x will be square root over 12. now equilibrium price for this x we get value of p this is the x naught value and this is the p naught value 33. now consumer surplus what will be zero to x naught the demand function in uh, differentiation with respect to uh, integration with respect to x minus p naught x naught formula just using formula from our uh, first lecture of consumer surplus and producer surplus so zero to x naught x naught what square root over 12 uh, demand function 45 minus x square is given given demand function this p demand function now x naught uh, x naught square root over 12 and p naught what for x naught root over 12 we got 33 p naught so 33 into 12 root over 12 now just integrating in similar process 45 into one integration what only x and x square integration what x cube by 3 x cube by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 indication formula x to the value putting the value of upper limit in replace of x putting x equals to root over 12 in replace of x okay now putting 0 minus then 0 upper limit upper limit this minus lower limit putting value 0 in replace of x now just minus third uh, minus 33 root over 12 now this after calculation root over 12 whole cube can be written as 12 into root over 12 okay how many root over 12 here three times 2 root over 12 means 12 root over 12 whole square root over 12 whole square means only 12 this way like this now this will be whole zero after calculation we got only 16 root over 3 now let us study another example find the consumer surplus if the demand curve is this 50 minus 0.025 x square where it is known that the market quantity is 20 units okay units is given we have given demand function dx equals to 50 minus 0.025 x square market quantity or equilibrium point equilibrium quantity is given 20 units now equilibrium price for this x naught we got p naught now consumer surplus formula we know zero to x naught d demand function into dx minus p naught x naught just giving the value now integration taking um, taking integration with respect to x one formula what integration of one with respect to x what will be only x okay now x square differentiation uh, integration what will be x to the 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that means x cube by 3 constant this is and limit will be within third bracket 0 to 20 upper limit 20 lower limit 0 so my minus 800 this now putting x equals to 20 in this expression we get this minus then putting lower limit x equals to 0 okay here x equals to 0 in replace of x we have put it what we have put 
x equals to 0. Then minus 800, just calculation, 1.133.33 answer. Now another example, a business organization made an analysis of production which shows that with the present equipment and workers, the production is 10,000 units per day. Per day, production what? 10,000 units. It is estimated that the rate of change of production P with respect to the change of number of additional works, X is DPDX, is the rate of, rate of change of units. Uh, uh, rates of uh, change of production with respect to units is given by 200 minus 3 to the power x to the power half x to the power half means root uh, root over x okay what is the production expressed in the units per day with 25 additional workers now additional workers given x equals to 25 total production what 10,000 total production 10,000 now marginal production mp what will be given 200 minus 3 into x to the power half now total production just taking integration we get okay taking integration on both sides this is dpdx integration what will be only p okay total production just uh, marginal uh, taking integration of marginal production we get with respect to x mp was 200 minus 3x to the power half integration of 200 is the constant one integration what is uh, x x to the power half what will be x to the power half plus one divided by half plus one half plus one what three by two x to the power three by two divided by three by two plus c this is the co integral constant so 200 my x minus 20 x to the power three by two plus c now when production is zero total total profit what was 10,000 okay when production zero number of units is zero then total profit was total profit 10,000 it is given so total profit equals to this is the actually our total profit total profit equals to 200 x minus 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 plus c so putting this value x equals to zero here and tp what 10,000 so c equals to what 10,000 fixed cost in our previous lectures lecture number two and three you got this as a fixed cost c equals to 10,000. So total product TP, what will be just putting the value of C, we get total product this, total production. Now, if additional X equals to 25, we got, we got total product, just putting X equals to 25 here. We get total product 14,750 units. Very easy for you. Okay, now example 87 demand and supply function are dx equals to 12 minus twice x whole cube 12 minus twice x whole cube and supply function sx equals to 56 plus 4x respectively determine consumer surplus under monopoly so as to maximize the profit and the supply function is identified with the marginal cost function okay now total revenue we know total revenue equals to what number of units into price or x into demand function x into demand function dx what dx 12 minus twice x whole whole square that means apply minus b whole square using sq minus 2ab plus b square formula we get 144x minus 48x square plus 4x cube so total revenue is this and marginal revenue what will be mr equals to what mr marginal revenue 144 minus 96 x plus 12 x cube x square since the supply price is identified with marginal cost so mc equals to what mc equals to 56 plus 4 x okay this is the marginal cost supply function okay equal so 56 plus 4x, this is the supply function, 56 plus 4x, MC equals to 56 plus 4x. Now in order to find consumer surplus under the monopoly, we have to maximize the profit. That means marginal revenue equals to marginal cost. Then we can form a equation, quadratic equation, x, uh, x square plus bx plus c types. Now solving this equation, we get x equals to one and x equals to 22 by three. 
just by, by using middle term process we can solve this uh, equation okay now for x equals to 1 we get this is the x naught and x equals to 22 by 3 there is another x naught that means initial value what two types when x naught equals to 1 and demand function p naught equals to what 12 minus 2 whole square that means mm, uh, demand function dx equals to 12 minus 2 i sex whole square so uh, for x equal x naught equals to 1 demand function p naught equals to what only 12 minus 2 whole square that means 100 in this case consumer surplus formula what will be 0 to 1 0 to x naught demand function into dx x naught p naught okay now same uh, 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 this is the integration one for uh, one integration what x and x integration what will be x square by 2 and x square integration what x cube by 3 x to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and x will be x to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 now putting the limit 0 to 1 in within third bracket minus 100 so putting x equals to 1 here okay upper limit values 0 will be give whole 0 this way only 64 by 9 64 by 3 now another value x naught equals to 22 by 3 okay in this case p naught what will be 12 minus 12 minus 2 twice x whole square okay so 12 minus 2 into 22 by 3 that means 44 by 3 whole square that means this give what 64 by 9 after calculation now in this case consumer surplus what will be 0 to 22 by 3 144 minus 48 x plus 4 x square dx so consumer surplus was demand function into dx x naught p naught okay 0 to x naught 0 to x naught what 22 by 3 this was the x naught equals to 22 by 3 for this x naught we get we got p naught equals to 64 by 9 so x naught p naught will be this and similar in, uh, integration one integration will be x and x integration will be x square by 2 that means x, x to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 now x square integration what will be x to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that means 3 x cube by 3 just uh, uh, putting the limit 0 to 22 by 3 within third bracket p naught x naught so the values will be just putting x x equals to 22 by 3 here okay try to calculate it at home Hmm, and verify this whether it is true or not okay now another example ft8 when the price of a pocket calculators average taka 400 abc company limited sold 20 every month okay 20 items every month when the price dropped and on an average taka 100 to 120 are sold every month by the same competition when the when the price was stuck up 400 200 calculators are available per week for sale the price reached taka 100 only 50 remained determine the consumers and producer surplus actually there is a demand uh, demand and supply function uh, actually there is a relationship between demand and supply function by the ratio for the demand function actually for the demand uh, there is a uh, there is a there is a price 400 okay 400 uh, and this uh, for this 400 uh, uh, dq minus 400 and the quantity will be changed q to 20 for this 20 using okay 20 every month q minus 20 and this will be one 400 minus 200 calculators 100 and there will be q uh, for the second one q quantity what 120 calculator i are sold okay just using this ratio uh, for demand and similarly for supply okay sq minus 400 q divided by supply of what was 200 calculators supply was 200 calculators so um, for, uh, for this case 100 400 same and this 120 will be changed quantity what 50 50 remain of this 50 and for this dq we got we got demand function this for this sq we got supply function only twice q just after calculation this is the minus here and 100 minus 400 okay now at equilibrium point supply function and demand function are always equal so using this relation we get q equals to 92 and this is the q naught initial value for quantity and for this q naught uh, 92 this is quantity actually 
initial quantity look like x naught in our previous example x naught number of units uh, produced q naught so for this q naught putting uh, q q naught equals to 92 you got p naught what p naught what will be 184 okay now consumer surplus formula what actually zero to x naught zero to x naught means what q naught here here independent variable is q naught this is why zero to uh, q naught demand function into dq demand function what demand function is this 460 minus thrice q just here variable q in the place of x remember it dq so it uh, integration will be with respect to q and p naught x naught okay uh, that means p naught q naught now integration of uh, one with respect to q what will be only q and integration of q with respect to q what will be q to the power one plus one divided by one plus one x to the power n formula number one formula of integration now now putting the upper limit and lower limit within third bracket 0 to 92 now multiplying we get this by using calculator just putting 92 that means upper limit below uh, in the place of q q equals to 92 putting we get this okay just putting q equals to 92 we got this result now producer surplus what will be formula producer surplus formula p naught x naught minus 0 to x naught demand function into dq demand function demand function demand function not sorry this will be supply function producer surplus depends on sur supply function and supply function what will be actually supply sq equal to twice q only supply function into dq dq means what with respect to q we have to integrate just q is uh, q integration what will be q to the power one plus one divided by one plus one okay two two cancel this two and uh, after integration two will be cancelled so q square zero to 92 now putting q equals to 92 in this upper limit value we get eight four six four values understand everybody Okay, this 89 example will be a uh, homework for you. Uh, let P, the, P be the price of rice and Q be the quantity of rice and the S is the amount of the fertilizer um, in rice production. Using data for any country, 1999, 1949 to 1964. Okay, we find the per capita demand function, this P equals to this, this is the demand function. For supply function, this is Q equals to this. This is the supply function where p is the price and q is the quantity remember it find the equilibrium in the rice market if s equals to this equilibrium point we have to find out and find the consumer surplus okay now just this is the given demand function equation number one and supply function this is equation number two now for equilibrium quantity demand equals to what quantity supply and this will be equal now uh, p equals to then p equals to this function and key s equals to what will be this p equals to this for for s equals to this we got p naught equals to this try to solve it at home and by using consumer surplus formula consumer surplus formula what zero to x naught x naught means here p naught okay uh, here q naught sorry q naught and 0 0.81 0 0.081 and uh, this, this is the demand function into dq minus p naught x naught then you can solve this try it at home uh, i hope everybody can do this okay till then this is the end of class